How do you create a pattern fill on a garment or illustration with a background color of your choice? Now, this one's very easy to miss, but once you know how to do it, it's very simple. Now, we know how to do fills. You choose your direct selection tool, select the piece of the um, illustration you want to color in, go to fill, drop down, and then choose a color. In this case, we've got nice shades of blue. Now, if I want to have a pattern, I could do something similar. I could open up my swatches window, which I'm going to do just here, have floating. I can open up my libraries, go for patterns, basic graphics, let's choose dots. And again, with my uh, piece selected, I can choose some nice dots. Now, that's black dots on a white background, but I want black dots on a blue background. The way to do this is actually very simple. So, let's undo that. Go up to Window and open up Appearance. Now, I'm going to stack everything together here to be nice and neat. Just like that. So, if we take our Direct Selection tool and select the piece which we want again, we'll see in Appearance that we've got a stroke, which is 1.5 point black, and a fill, which is white. This is a mirror of what we have on the top left. So, what we do is add a custom element. So, on the fill, we can select the color. Let's choose that blue, it's quite nice. This is just like working at the top, but we have the opportunity to add layers. So, down the bottom here, we can have add new strokes and add new fills. So, if I click add new fill, we've got another layer above. Now, this is very similar to the way you work with layers in Photoshop. If you get the idea of layers, you get the idea of this. So, on the drop down here, we just select our dots. Let's go for those dots. And that's really cool. We can also add effects. So let's choose, I don't know, let's choose a Gaussian blur. And click preview. And you see the, the dots have been blurred just like on Photoshop. Let's take the blur down to the, you know, a really small amount. That's going to be about right for me and click OK. Now, if you're looking at this thinking, I can't quite look at this, it's actually hurting my eyes. That actually is quite good from a fashion sense because it's different. It makes you look at it and go, oh, wow, that's interesting. Now, of course, there's other fashion effects here. Fashion effects, video effects, and style effects. So you can play around with them and have a go. But that is how to create a custom pattern on top of a colored background.